Yeah, what's up? We're going to dive straight into the first part of the video, which is dyno testing the Max Peeling Rods 3076 race turbo. And I took it to Engine Tuner. Thanks to them for getting me in. And thanks to Max Peeling Rods for giving me the chance to test this turbo. So we've just seen the dyno tuning and the results were a little bit inconclusive. We were struggling with wheel spin on the dyno. We managed to tune it and map it on wastegate pressure. But as soon as we tried to feed boost in with boost control, it was just blowing the tires right off. First drive, testing at Chimina. Let's see how we go. Yeah, it's going Fuck yeah. Successful day. Car's got way more traction than I was expecting and we broke something. But 
it's been a really good day loads of data diff fell out out out
I always thought I was the wind up merchant, but it turns out it's him. No diff on the floor. It's actually up there. Test day number two and the diff has survived. Got an oil leak coming from somewhere. I wonder if it's a turbo drain or something, but that might be why it's smoky. Need to investigate. So this is one of the final data logs I got from the day, and you can see the turbo is massive for this engine. And by seven and a half thousand, which is where I got my rev limiter set, we're making a almost nine psi of boost. And then second gear, we make it all the way up to about 13 psi. And then in third gear, we make it to about, that's about, I don't know, 15. And then we manage to hit 16 PSI boost in fourth and it does start to plateau. So basically in fourth gear, we're starting to get enough gas flow and energy to really make the turbo come to life. I'm sure the results in fifth or sixth gear would have been even better. Even though it's obvious that this turbo is massively oversized for this 1.6 engine, it did seem to work quite well. I'm quite happy with the way it worked in a drag racing application because it probably helps somewhat with traction. And um, you would have heard already that the turbo sounds amazing in the video. Not only does it sound amazing, but the build quality is great. It's a really well built turbo and uh, I can't wait to get it back on the K20, the all wheel drive K20 build. I need to say a massive thanks to Max Peter Rods for the turbo, T7, Design and Exo Racing for all my plumbing and weld-on parts like the AN weld-ons and the caps, like in there. And I also need to thank Engine Tuner for helping to get the car on the rolling road and get me to my first, my second test day. I also need to thank Entry level motorsport for getting me to my first test day. Also, need to thank all you guys that watch my videos for the encouragement, the likes, the comments. It definitely makes a difference. So, thanks. And if you want, comment below or just loads of likes or whatever. And I will put up all of my raw footage from both, both test days and a rolling road without any talking, just a really raw, unedited video. Peace, guys.